Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Sinus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Listeria monocytogenase. Today, we'll talk about another gram-positive rod that is non-spore-forming, known as Erysipelothrax. We're talking about skin infections, especially if your skin was traumatized and then you got exposed to the bacteria, boom now the bacteria is in your skin causing a disease that is similar to erysipelas which was caused by you guessed it streptococcus pyogenes aka group a strep please watch the videos in this playlist in order erysipelothrix is a gram positive bacillus non-spore forming yet it is aerobic just like listeria so both Listeria and Erysipelothrix are gram-positive rods, non-spore forming, aerobic and uniform shape. Now, do you remember what we talked about in the video of Streptococcus pyogenes diseases? Oh yeah, Medicosis, I remember. I remember you told us the difference between staph and strep in that staph is coagulase positive, but strep is coagulase negative, meaning staph skin infection will be localized and coagulated in a narrow area, such as a feliculitis, abscess, feruncle, carbuncle. We're still narrow within a small area, a small focus. Conversely, since streptococcus is coagulase negative, it cannot stay in one location. It cannot coagulate in one space. It will spread all over the place. Sepsis, cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis, and erysipelas. Erysipelas caused by streptococcus pyogenes is a special form of cellulitis. Erysi means red and pella means skin. That's why we call this erysipelothrix because it causes a skin infection that is similar to erysipelas. What does thrix mean? Thread-like that lives in the skin. Oh, by the way, erysipelothrix or erysipeloid disease is a zoonosis. What does that mean? Animal infection that's going to be transmitted to humans. If the human had a traumatized skin to begin with, such as farmer, butcher, fisherman, poultry workers, veterinarians who had an abrasion or a puncture wound in the skin, and then they are dealing with animals, and then this bacteria will jump from the animal to the human, causing skin disease that mimics Erysipelas. Erysipelothrix can also lead to bacteremia, septicemia, and endocarditis. Virulence factors include neuraminidase, which helps erysipelothrix attach to your epithelial cells and penetrate your epithelial cells. It also has a polysaccharide-like capsule, which protects the bacteria from phagocytosis, as we have discussed before in the mechanisms of evasion by which bacteria evade the human immunity. How can we diagnose erysipelothrix? By gram stain, because it's a gram positive rod, by culture on blood agar or chocolate agar, make sure to incubate at 5-10% concentration of carbon dioxide. How can we manage it? Penicillin for mild cases, ciftriaxone for disseminated severe cases. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course, which will teach you about penicillin, cephalosporins, carbapenems, astrionams. It will even teach you about antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. Download it today at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. I also have surgery high yields course, emergency medicine high yields course, and many others. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.